Most startups are wasting time and money trying to implement AI. Here's what they're doing wrong. The question isn't whether to use AI, it's how to use it effectively. At Lemonade, AI has been part of our DNA from day one. Here are some of the lessons we've learned and how we can start building an AI-driven company the right way. Start with a long-term vision. Build for where AI is going, not where it is today. One of my favorite things about AI is that it's constantly improving. There's this quote that I love that challenges skeptics. This is the worst AI will ever be. The pace of change is exponential. So when building your products or processes, think about what AI will be capable of a few years from now. At Lemonade, back in 2015, before AI was the buzzword of every company, we bet early that AI will fundamentally transform the insurance industry. So we build our systems with adaptability in mind. Initially, we used machine learning to automate customer interactions for chatbots. And today, more than 50% of claims are resolved automatically in under three seconds, which is actually a Guinness World Record. As AI agents become more sophisticated, they'll actually start using the products we build alongside human users and companies that get this they're designing their adaptive workflows that both humans and AI agents can operate. Products with agent-friendly architectures will have a competitive advantage as agents handle increasingly complex tasks for consumers and businesses. In other words, we are moving toward a future where your product may be used more by AI assistants on our behalf than by humans directly. So that's how you should be thinking about your company. Focus on high-impact areas. So how do you start implementing AI if you haven't already? The simplest answer is to focus on where AI can deliver the most value for your business, because you can't do everything at once. For us at Lemonade, that was customer experiences for two reasons. One, it fits the language model superpowers really well, because customer support is about conversation. And two, it has significant business impact, and being able to measure that impact is super important. We decided to focus our automation on key interactions like claim processing and policy updates. A year ago, 0% of customer engagements used generative AI. Today, about half of those interactions are fully automated. This shift not only reduced costs, but also created an incredible customer experience. And like I said, the impact is measurable. Resolving claims in two or three seconds isn't just impressive. It transforms the insurance experience for our customers. Create an AI-driven culture. This is a crucial thing for founders and R&D teams to understand. AI isn't just for engineers, it's for everyone, from operations to business development. Embracing AI means making it a part of your company culture, and knowledge sharing is key for that. At Lemonade, we created an AI guild to promote AI usage for each department, regardless of if it's technical or business related. A couple of years ago, when generative AI became accessible, we had a company-wide hackathon to help spark ideas. It helped contribute to putting AI conversation front and center and transform skeptics into believers. We also build an internal tool which lets employees experience with AI models. The entire content creation process for Lemonade's content team has been completely scaled and transformed by Gen AI tools, and so has our internal performance review process. Build a team with a growth mindset. Hire for adaptability, not just experience. AI doesn't change processes. It changes the role you hire for. That's why building the right team is critical. So how do you get the candidates with those traits? First of all, be transparent about what you're looking for. Try talking to candidates about a product that leverages AI and see how they react. You'll notice if they have a spark in their eyes or it's just another day at the office for them. I'm also a big fan of being direct, challenging candidates. You can try asking, what kind of future do you envision for developers with AI becoming increasingly better? Do you see that as a threat? And you can kind of gauge whether they're resistant or excited about where the world is going. So look to hire people who are open to change. Overcoming the fear of AI. I know there's anxiety about AI replacing jobs, but here's the reality. AI isn't going away. Think of it as an opportunity, not a threat. If you use AI to make your work faster and smarter, you'll not only keep your job, you'll be the first to get promoted. As leaders, we need to address this head on. Be transparent about the changes AI will bring. AI isn't just transforming industries. It's giving companies the chance to reimagine what's possible. It's not that hard, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs>